Yes, my peoples, it's T, and yes, I'm back for Apprentice Week 9 reaction and review. Let's get it. So, first of all, before we get started, I want to apologize for this episode being late, um, a week late to be exact. Um, yes, I have been away um, and unable to record for various reasons. Um, so this is why this episode is coming out to you late. Um, and also because of this as well, because of being away and not being able to record and not being able to be close to any of my equipment or my usual setup, um, I don't have any clips for you this video as well. So apologies for slightly different format of this video this week. Um, and as you may can see, actually, you know, it's not even, it's not, let's not even bring attention to that. But yeah, let's get straight into this one. So Apprentice Week 9. Apprentice this year, um, for me, I'm going to actually say, because now we're getting close to the end, it's, it has been a little bit better than last year. Um, but this week, Sir Alan Sugar decided to switch the teams up again, which is good because he was getting a little bit stale. Um, so this time, Steve and Phil swapped. That's it. Just Steve and Phil swapped. So that, in my opinion, I think that may balance out the team slightly. Um, definitely makes the other team a little more poorer um, because obviously Phil in my opinion, is a very poor, poor candidate. So whichever team he's on is going to bring them down, in my opinion. Um, so now we have, um, I think it's, I think this is actually Team Supreme. Normally call them Team Supremely Poor, but they've changed so much now. I'm not sure. So Steve, Trey, both of them went for PM. Um, and Trey made a good case and he took it. Um, I feel like Team Supreme may actually get their first win now just because... Um, they have, you know, more stronger people on their team and um, a lot of the weak players are gone. And now on the other side, they have Phil and Mora on the same team. So that's two poor people on the same team. I don't really... Yeah, anyway, let's not get into that. And then the other team now has <clears throat> Raj as PM. Um, and again, they do have <laughs> Phil and Mora. So I think this may, this may now be the weaker team, um, Team Nexus. So Raj has chosen something a little bit different this time, um, which I'm sure if she's watched previous series. Uh, in fact, I didn't even introduce what the task was again. So the task was obviously, of course, it's, a, it's the TV exercise. It's the selling exercise on, on, on television. Um, and Raj decided just to choose something a little bit different, um, which if she watched the previous episodes, you know that usually when you try and choose something different, too different, it doesn't typically work out well in this task because, because buying trends... Are a real thing people buy things that people want people need and then it can work out where you choose something different it's a it's a product that people will snap up and really really want it and they sell a lot but it's very rare and it's a hard niche to find so it's not good to especially in this task if you, especially for a shopping channel don't go too niche if you watch previous um series apprentice you will know don't go too niche so let's see if that works out for her um i think she made a little a little boo-boo there um <laughs> but yeah also, Trey surprised me because he didn't give the team any clear direction or instructions. He just said, I trust you. So, yeah, that's it. So that's quite surprising for me. Um, Steve, Steve, though, Steve, um, he's lucky. I say lucky. He's got Steve on his team. And I think Steve is one of the strong can candidates. So I think that um, if he makes Steve the, you know, sub team leader, um, he will help him and save him by getting the right items. And to be fair, I think I did mention this in my notes that Steve did come in good with, you know, um, some good points, um, which may save them in the end because there was some um, poor direction there from Trey initially, but Steve came in and gave them some really good pointers on where to go and what items to get, um, low price, etc., etc. Um, and Raj was crumbling, crumbling when Flo suggested she needs um, a good diversity split. So initially, Raj wanted to have all the Galdem on one team. Um, but then Flo made a good point about, you know, having a bit more of a diversity split, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, obviously, on TV, it's always good to mix it up. Um, but, yeah, Raj did crumble and, and give in to that suggestion, which is fair. Um, I do feel like, though, Trey will be good on TV at selling. Um, but let's see. Let's see what actually occurs. And also, how does Rachel not know what OSC mean um, on a fan? Like, has she never used a fan in her life? Um, obviously, it means oscillate. So, you know, move around. That's right. Like, she can't be serious, Kristen. Um, and what the colour like. Anyway, let's not get into the madness. Um, also, 
what, the one thing about Raj, I will say as a PM, but just as a, as a candidate in general, she is good at talking to people and being personable. Um, but she did ask, but did she ask about the product at all? She was being very personable, but did she ask about the product at all? That's the question. Um, and then moving on to the other team, Team Supreme. Um, Steve chose some high priced items, which could be a good thing, but it could also be a really bad thing because if you don't sell those items, then it's not looking good, bruv. Um, and what is Paul? Listen, I'm not speaking for this, but what is what was Paul talking about? About muscles? Is it Paul? Oh yeah, Paul. Muscles are mastication. <laughs> like, is that necessary? <laughs> is that necessary? <laughs> I don't understand. Why did he have to explain the product using those terms? Um, also, he keeps saying that like, personally, personally, I like this. Personally, I like that. Personally, I like this. Listen, Paul, it's not about what you personally like. It's about the target audience, which everybody knows for a shopping channel is typically the older generation. So it's basic, it's basic, get a grip. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far this episode, Raj, Raj, um, in fact, in fact, not Raj, both PMs for me have not impressed me. I think, I think some of these, these people are okay, team members, but like, like Trey and, and, and um, Trey and, and Raj, they they are okay team members, but as leaders, they're not selling it for me. I don't think they're good as leaders, but they're okay being like being on a team. They they're good. They get the, you know they put a shift in. Um, <laughs> and the tent, you said the tent situation was hilarious. Um, I wanted to put a clip here of of um, I think it was Moray and Paul trying to close that tent and pack it away. Um, it felt like it felt like a bit of a scripted uh, comedy scene or something. Um. Also, when Steve did come back with the products he chose, um, Trey didn't actually like the products that, that Steve brought back. Um, so let's see how they actually do. But um, to be fair, it's all it's all going to depend on how the mover, you know, the mover, the stepper thing sells or not. I think I personally think that's, that's what it's going to be. Um, the other team chose the fan, which pff, fans are you know are good. You know, they typically sell out, but obviously the price isn't great, um, and it can't be dropped too low. Um, so. Not too sure on that. And then Roger's strategy around keeping items at the same price for 30% of the time. Interesting strategy. Interesting strategy. I think, yeah, it just depends. You have to play by ear at, in the moment and depending on, you know, how well things are going on on, on the, the phone lines at the time. But I think it's an interesting strategy. Um, Trey didn't do well at multitasking at all. Um, I think I could do that well where, you know, I'm trying to talk to people on TV, but also um, having instructions in my ears. Um, and and not being able not being able to like you know pause and have breaks in between like I'll I'll be able to do both at the same time I believe but you know you you don't know until you try I guess um, and then Steve was pretty silent um, which was quite cringe to watch watch in the in the gallery uh, Faluso tried but she was shouting way too much which isn't her fault to be fair um, she just getting she getting into it but I don't understand why they couldn't like improvise better and sell better on the spot because they were just not saying the right things anyway so again um in this scene i don't know where where steve was um, i think there was some poor choices in products but also poor selling from both sides of the team um but this task in general is normally typically always chaos now moving to the other team the paul was good at talking calmly and convincing he was very convincing um the gallery team were dropping the price, in my opinion, way too quickly. Um, I feel it might be a good strategy just to get the sales in, but maybe that may come out to buy them. And Raj was so poor at selling the pen. She's just awkward and lost her entire composure. Lost her complete composure. Didn't give any info on the product. It was just saying, well, I think she, I forgot what she was saying, but she was just saying like, wow, wow, or something like that. It was just really poor. So silly, so silly. Like, wow, just come buy it. Wow, come buy it. Like, what is that? Um... And I think Flo was quite calm, um, but the presenters, Mora and Raj, yeah, they were awful, awful. Um, Phil and Flo wasn't much help, but yeah, an easy product and they couldn't really sell. So shout and go each other, which was explicitly told them not to do, poor. And then they didn't speak about the product at all. So yeah, I feel like I feel like I could do a better job at this as well. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I could do a much better job at this. Um, like Mora was hurting my head, literally physically hurting my head, just shouting like, "What is the need? Like you're on TV, you you are you have a microphone. There's no need to shout. It's not gonna help." Now onto the boardroom. Um, Supreme, Supreme um, actually won this as predicted. So as I predicted earlier, I'm gonna get straight into it. Supreme won. 
Um, you know, I think I personally think that was all Steve. His strategy um, and choice of, choice of some of the products were were good, and they and then just the calmness that he brought throughout. And Aldo, who's Aldo was a bit quiet in the gallery. He brought calmness. He brought direction, and he just got his job. He just d- done his job. Um, and to be fair, I always say this, just in life in general, having a smaller group of people typically works better. So this was a smaller team anyway um, than Team Nexus. And smaller team with less poor people typically perform better anyway because there's less um, cogs that could go wrong, if that makes sense. So on the other team, listen, I knew Phil, I knew Phil would contribute to bringing down his team, whatever team he was on. I knew Amore would be her usual self. She's good at some stuff, but overall she's poor in business. Raj was a mess as a PM. Um, Paul, he's done his best. I don't think he should be involved in, in, in the firing line at all because he was actually good. And Flo tried, but as I said earlier, she was dropping the price way too quickly. So, um, yeah, Phil hasn't helped at all. In fact, I'm pretty certain Phil was trying to pass the book so much times, so much times. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I really don't know how Phil's still here. And Raj, back to the boardroom now, Raj trying to save her back. Like, honestly, Mora and Raj shouting on TV was poor, so I don't know how they can try and save their back. And Alan Sugar, what did he do in the end? He brought the whole team back except for Paul, which is exactly why I wrote in my notes before that even happened. I said Paul needs to not be involved in this. And um and that happened because yeah, I think he was spot on. Spot on because yeah, poor, poor team except for Paul. He tried his best. Um and to be fair, it's a tough one because Flo Flo was a huge reason why they lost, in my opinion. Um, but I think she deserves, deserves another chance based on her overall contribution to the series. Um, Phil has been rubbish since day one and contributed absolutely nothing to this challenge. So he, in my opinion, should definitely go. Roger Mora was poor. Um, so I'd say Defo. Yeah, I'd say Phil really should go if I had to, to choose really. Um, yeah, maybe it should be a double, a double one. Yeah, yeah. Because Phil, for me, he's such a poor businessman. Like, not only is he a poor businessman and not a team player, but he likes to just pass the buck and always just believe he's not really involved. So if he stays, if he stays, then his business idea must be incredibly amazing. Um, and the Raj was sent... So in the end, yeah, the results are Raj was sent home, um, which I guess is fair because she was the PM and she was quite poor. Um, and then there was a double firing. Mora also got sent home. And to be fair, again, that's fair because she was shocking. She's been so poor. Finally, Mora is gone. Poor rubbish. Um, to be fair, Mora turns people off. And Alan Sugar said the same thing. She just completely turns me off. Um, and somehow, Phil has survived. Like, WTF. How has Phil survived and never weak? Like, he must have, he must have like, some some really, you know, mad pictures on Alan Sugar or something. Or, he, or you know, incriminating pictures. Or his business, his business idea must be incredible because... I think he's shocking. He's, anyway, but yeah, it should have been a triple firing in my opinion, but wow. Um, Alan Sugar did say he will be PM next week and um, if he loses, that he will be gone regardless. So I think Phil's gone next week. <laughs> Phil's gone next week. Um, um, sorry, Paul, sorry, Paul. Sorry, Paul. I keep missing, I'm mixing. Is it Phil? I'm just confusing people, but yes. Paul... In the house, called it. He's a smart guy. He called exactly who's going to go and what's going to happen. And he called it all and he was right. So now the seven candidates remaining. Three episodes to go, I believe. And next week is about creating cheese. Another food type task. Now Phil makes pies. And let's see if he will, if this will suit him, this, this challenge. Because in all the previous food tasks, Phil's been poor. But... Maybe this one suits to him because it's closer to pie making. I don't know. But either way, my prediction is Paul is gone. Paul is missing. Even though that team is a little less poor now because they have less poor people in the team. Like, Mora's gone. He's probably the last really poor candidate left. Um, But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's enough from me. Um, Very whistle-stop tour there of my thoughts. Um, So, I hope you enjoy this. And, um, yeah, take care. All the best. Peace.